So what really is Forex? And that's the question that a lot of people ask, but they don't really get the straight answer. So I'm gonna go ahead and get straight to it. No storytelling, none of that other stuff. So let's just get to it guys. Let's get to what it is that you guys came for. So with that being said, first thing Forex is abbreviation for the foreign exchange market, which is where a lot of banks, institutions and hedge funds tend to go ahead and change their money or in other words, say to exchange. So this right here that you guys see on the screen right now is a chart of the euro dollar, which in other terms, we are exchanging the currency from the euro currency over to the dollar currency. This is very important to take in consideration, which is the following. The EUR stands for the European dollar. The USD stands for the US dollar. Now, it's important to understand the placement in these currencies because the placement in these currencies is going to allow you to understand what is the primary currency and what is the secondary currency. In this case scenario, what we are able to see that Euro, which is EER, in this case is going to be our primary currency and the USD is going to be our secondary meaning that anything to the right is things that we want to really look into. So right here we can see these numbers at 1.13600, 1.13650, 1.137, meaning that the equivalent of one euro to a dollar is going to be 1.1365 when market reaches this area. So let's say that the euro, which is the European currency goes higher in value, that means that it's going to cost more dollars, American dollars to go ahead and purchase that one single euro currency. So whenever market is moving up in this case scenario, that means that the European dollar is either gaining strength or the US dollar is losing strength, which is very important for you to understand because this is going to allow you to really know what is going on in the Forex market. Now, one question that a lot of people ask is, hey Maurice, so can you and I trade in the Forex market? Of course, we can go ahead and trade in the Forex market. However, there's one slight thing to take in consideration. Since we are not trading with millions and millions of dollars, such as the Forex market, because do understand this is the fact that in the foreign exchange market, there is approximately $6.3 trillion in transactions created every single day. So with that being said, if there's $6.3 trillion created in exchanges every single day, this is something that we personally do not have as liquid for us to go ahead and exchange or to actually make an impact within the market. So it's very important for us to understand that once we are in these markets right over here, as we can see, we are using leverage from brokers. And that is something that I will be talking to you later on as this mini course goes ahead and continues. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the quick little summary and quick little recap of what is Forex. As always, like, comment, subscribe. It really helps us out a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next video.